for people who are not from this you know region or country you know they go like the flying saucer like oh yeah you know it's a building that looks like a flying saucer it's interesting how these buildings become forgotten and then when we bring light to it everybody starts getting nostalgic and telling us about their stories the flying saucer and it's the state that we kind of like we transform it to become the original kind of uh, intention of the saucer was a really 360 degrees uh, uh, panoramic, uh, has a panoramic kind of view from the interior and it, it revealed the structure that is quite amazing, a dome that gives a heightened feeling to the space, but also a structure, an amazing structure of fanning beams and, uh, and uh, triangular uh, columns. And I really wanted to expose the dome, the concrete dome, which of course a lot of people said will create an echo. And I thought this is the beauty of the space because it's, there's a special sound in the dome that's not quite an echo. It's kind of a high pitch. And it works really well um, for certain projects. It can also uh, support uh, uh, other activities, like uh, there's a curated library, uh, curated film program. The facets of the uh, flying saucer retaining wall can be used as screens. They double as screens for the for these events. And I remember hearing that there was a small basement storage. So I said, mm, if there is a basement, that means we can try to dig underground. What's interesting is that the community space underneath uh, is a multi-purpose space uh, with a rest uh, with a cafe uh, around. Uh, an urban garden, a small urban, urban circle or a small courtyard. The architect, Muna's idea really to say, look, you don't want a basement that's dark, so let's do a sunken garden. Um, the piazza on top actually used to be where we park our cars. Now it's a really beautiful space that we've had events upstairs. And actually I've sat on the, some of the seats with the traffic behind me and you don't even feel that you're on a busy road. It's a calm place. It is a working area, yet you don't feel the stress and pressure that. I always like to get in a space before renovating. Um, and what's been really great is seeing people in the neighborhood come here to study all the time. And the intention was actually to create spaces for the community to gather around art and creativity. It's a lesson for you know, future generations to restore and reuse uh, instead of disposing and demolishing. <laughs>